How's it going everyone? In this video I'll be covering absolutely everything in Season 7 for Super Animal Royale. This is version 1.8. So as we know, they're going to have another new animal release called Super Lemurs. There will definitely be a few variants uh, of the Super Lemurs. Anyways, next feature is going to be a really big feature, especially for people trying to create content for Super Animal Royale that haven't even done anything. This is called the Photo Booth. Essentially, you can create your own kind of images or pics with, within these Super Animals or your characters within the game where you can just create photos, you can have them dancing, you can have them doing really just anything you kind of want. You can have them doing, you know, you can have them in all shapes and different sizes. They'll have different backgrounds. Anyways, I recommend using this if you are trying to create content for Super Animal Royale because you can definitely use these for like thumbnails, especially if people, you know, can't make thumbnails outside of anything just because, it, you know, it probably costs money. But this is definitely a good feature for people to try to start new content within Super Animal Royale. Next feature is going to be the new Animal Pass, of course, which is, you know, all featured around Season 7, and it's called the Super Healthy Pass, so you can already guess, like, what's going to be in it. If you guys want me to make a video separately just showing what the Animal Pass is, let me know in the comments below, and I can definitely make that happen. Next up, we have a new location, which is the Health Juice Factory, which this introduces probably the best thing in this season to me, which is the Yellow Crabs, okay? The Yellow Crabs. As you know, you can dance with crabs all around the map and see them, but there's never been a yellow crab. However, you can now see the yellow crab in this health juice factory. They are basically working and getting the juice, you know, that the animals actually drink. Next up, since the season is all about being healthy, make sure to eat your vegetables. <clears throat> I'm kidding. Anyways, the next thing is going to be a new super power-up called the Who... <laughs> The Health Juice Blender. Don't even ask me what it does. I tried using it when I was invited to, you know, showcase Season 7. I don't know what the hell it does, what it did. I don't really know. Maybe someone can put it in the comments below. I wasn't bothered looking this up, so I'm sorry. But this, it just, it wasn't that important to me. I'm just saying. Next up, if you guys remember what the Easter event was like, they have now renamed it to the Respawning Event, which is going to be Respawning Day 2023 event. It will include 8 new Respawning Day cosmetics and 18 returning Legacy Super Easter cosmetics with 3 Super Animal Breeds, the Super Bilby Bunny, the Chipmunk and the Tailed Frog. I wish the Legacy Super Easter items, you know, maybe had a few new cosmetics, but that's okay. That's okay, we can't have everything. Anyways, if you guys remember what the closed tents were like all over the map, they have now opened them up, which can have loot, and honestly, just a place for you to camp and hide, okay? You know, just, just something like that. Anyways, they have also added maximum preset slots up to 30, which means it, you could customize up to 20 animals in the games with different kind of cosmetics. Now they've additionally added 10 more slots where you can have a total of 30. One of the last things that is new is that there's new jams inside the Crocodile Club and the Smoma. So yeah, take a look at those locations when you can. You can see some of the changes. The full patch notes are going to come out on the release of this Season 7, which again is Tuesday, March 28th. Now, I wish they added some more things within this update because to me, I don't know, I don't want to sound like a buzzkill, but I just feel like every season is kind of the same, very repetitive with what they add. I kind of want to see the small things being introduced, and I've said it for a long time if you guys have watched my streams. I want to see statistics like yes the game has so many statistics right in the settings of course but i want to see the statistics after the game whether i play a solos or duos or squads i want to know my teammates kills i want to know how much damage they do i also want to know the same thing for me Anyways, I mean, that's all I'm going to say. I can say so much more, but maybe I can leave that for another video. Guys, you enjoyed the rest of this video and the gameplay of the Season 7 Showcase, because this was actually my very first win. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one, and goodbye. Peace.
Later, buddy. I already lost big bunk. That's okay. Sorry, Sheffy. No. I missed a lot of shots towards the end, but hey, hey, yeah, yeah. GG, y'all. Mm.